Can you tell what type of inheritance pattern this pedigree is showing? It can be either autosomal dominant or recessive or both. In this family, the daughter is going to be the only one that's affected. So this type of inheritance pattern has to just be autosomal recessive. That's because the daughter here is going to be little a, little a. And the parents are going to be heterozygous or carriers. If this was an autosomal dominant disorder, this individual would have to have at least one big A that they got from their parents. And since neither parent has the disorder, it can't be a autosomal dominant disorder. Now let's take a look at this pedigree. Which type of inheritance pattern does this show? The father and daughter both are affected with this trait. This type of pedigree actually shows both. In an autosomal dominant inheritance, both the daughter and the father would have at least one big A. In this case, they'd be heterozygous. Because both the mother and the son would be little a, little a, or homozygous recessive. Which would mean this daughter would be heterozygous since she would receive the big A from dad and the little a from mom. And the father would also be heterozygous since this son received a little a from him. This could also show an autosomal recessive inheritance pattern since the daughter and the father both would be little a, little a. While the mother could be a heterozygous genotype and pass the little a on to her daughter and the big A on to her son. So in this pedigree, you can't really tell whether it's an autosomal dominant or recessive inheritance pattern.